I think the realistic, of, uh, the notion of some sort of a deal of that magnitude is is, is pretty likely. Uh, you got to understand that Donald Trump needs this to calm markets. You've had a fall in the S&P since uh, it was first announced that they would try to reach a solution within 90 days, I think about 8%. Uh, and, and President Trump is set to really worry about that, not like the situation. I think he'll get something, uh, and, and he may even get something through 2024. But the underlying problem is we have shifted in 2018 from strategic uh, uh, engagement to strategic competition. I think this is a trial balloon. I think that's the right way to, to think about it. But these are the kind of things that you can get done in a month's time span. They're not going to get a deal with China on deep changes in its protection of intellectual property and some of the other grievances that the Trump administration has. But China could easily agree to buy more, and they, they, they put that on the table. The U.S. can agree to, to, to cut back or at least not continue to raise tariffs. They put that on the table. So we're now talking about the kinds of things that can get done in a month, and that should raise optimism about a near-term deal. I'm not so sure it's priced in yet. I think the market is screaming for clarity, right? And, and so look at what's happening today, right? You're getting exactly what you want, but I still think there's room to go, because I think the market had a way overreaction in December, way, way overreaction. And so it's now getting to the point where, where, we, where we should have been. And now if this trade deal happens, I actually think that the market does better.